Hi, this is Vince with a weather and climate briefing that will cover what occurred during the month of January with an outlook into February and beyond. If you remember, the first half of January stayed on the colder side. This chart shows the departure from normal temperatures at Park Rapids, Minnesota. The blue columns signify days which are colder than normal. Other than the 7th through the 10th, this was a consistently cold stretch. This slide shows the coldest temperatures for selected cities during this stretch. Both Baudette and Park Rapids dipped to 32 degrees below zero. Along with the cold, numerous wind chill warnings were issued for the area. On January 10th and 11th, a winter storm hit the area, dropping up to seven inches of snow along the Highway 2 corridor. Wind speeds were also quite strong. The graphic on the right shows the maximum wind gusts that occurred across the area. The Grand Forks Airport recorded a 54 mile per hour wind gust. The combination of snow and wind resulted in blizzard conditions in the northern and central Red River Valley. This next graphic shows winds and visibilities at the Grand Forks Airport during the event. Note the extended period of visibilities below quarter mile, which are shown in purple. Many people will also remember the January 14th and 15th events when low visibilities and light snow plagued the Red River Valley again. The yellow arrows show the area of blowing snow in the valley detected by satellite imagery. After the cold stretch, most of the remainder of the month was warmer than normal. Again, this data is from Park Rapids, Minnesota. January 19th was the warmest day during the stretch with most locations rising above 40 degrees. The warm temperatures also melted some snow, which caused areas of fog. Here are the number of dense fog advisories issued during the warm stretch. These were clustered around Devil's Lake. This is a graph of the visibility at Langdon from January 24th through 26th. During this entire time frame, the visibility remained very low. The cold and warm stretches during January evened each other out and the month actually ended up being warmer than normal for all areas. Like the trend for many months now, Fargo is drier than Grand Forks. Grand Forks ended up with nearly 10 inches of snow. Now let's take a look ahead into the month of February. February is technically the last winter month. During February, normal highs and lows finally begin rising again. February is typically the driest month of the year. You can look forward to gaining about an hour and 25 minutes of day length from February 1st to 28th. What types of weather can occur in February? Most of the events involve some sort of winter weather, strong wind, extreme cold, or fog. This is a Climate Set Prediction Center's February temperature outlook. For most of the northern plains, they are forecasting below normal temperatures, which are shown by the area in blue. This is a Climate Prediction Center's precipitation outlook for February. Again, for the Northern Plains, they are expecting above normal precipitation, shown by the area in green. For the February, March, April temperature outlook, the Climate Prediction Center expects colder than normal temperatures to continue. As for the February, March, April precipitation outlook, the Climate Prediction Center also expects above normal precipitation to continue. The National Weather Service in Grand Forks recently started a monthly photo contest. Here are the December and January winners. That concludes this weather and climate briefing. Thanks for listening.